Hi everyone and welcome to Early Morning Prayer Requests and Devotions. I hope everybody's doing good this morning on our prayer request. My Lisa's granddaughter has RSV. I pray for her that she'll get better. And uh, Tweet's daughter needs prayer for her relationship to heal. Pray for the 17 American and Canadian missionaries kidnapped in, ha in Haiti. The group includes five children. Maria is having another biopsy Friday to follow up on uh, breast cancer. Pray it'll be okay. And Frida's cousin's daughter. And I found out the uh, other one that was uh, hurt was a three-year-old uh girl and uh she escaped a, a lot of i mean she didn't get hurt bad they thought she might have been at first but she's going to be okay but her uh they were hit by a car from behind they were in a horse-drawn buggy uh, they both uh were, you know were like i said she was hurt some but not seriously but her uh the other woman uh was she has serious injuries and the horse had to be put down so pray they'll be okay i believe it was dolores was the name i think so i'll have to look and make sure but uh, that's that's pretty bad i'm just glad that the uh, also that the little uh, girl wasn't hurt bad okay our scripture of the day comes from 1 Peter 4, 8 through 11. Above all, love each other deeply because love covers over a multitude of sins. Offer hospitality one to one another without grumbling. Each of you should use whatever gift you have received to serve others as faithful stewards of God's grace in its various forms. If anyone speaks, they should do so as one who speaks the very words of God. If anyone serves, they should do so with the strength God, strength God provides, so that in all things God may be praised through Jesus Christ. To him be the glory and the power forever and ever. Amen. Okay. I'm going to drink of water. Okay, our devotion today is entitled, Live to Serve. After 10-year-old Chelsea received an elaborate art set, she discovered that God used art to help her feel better when she was sad. When she found out that some kids didn't have art supplies readily available, she wanted to help them. So when it was time for her birthday party, she asked her friends not to bring her gifts Instead, she invited them to donate art supplies and help fill boxes for children in need. Later, with her family's help, she started Chelsea's Charity. She began asking more people to help her fill boxes so she could help more kids. She has even taught art tips to groups who have received her boxes. After a local newscaster interviewed Chelsea, people started donating supplies from all over the country. As Chelsea's charity continues sending art supplies internationally, this young girl de is demonstrating how God can use us when we're willing to live to serve others. Chelsea's compassion and willingness to share reflects the heart of a faithful steward. The Apostle Peter encourages all believers in Jesus to be faithful stewards as they love each other deeply by sharing the resources and talents God has given them. Our small acts of love can inspire others to join us in giving. God can even rally supporters to serve alongside us. As we rely on him, we can live to serve and give him the glory he deserves. How can you rely on God to help you serve others today? In what way has God been nudging you to serve him that seems too big for you to handle alone? Faithful Father, please give me all I need to serve you by loving others with my words and actions today. And Lord, I want to pray for everyone on our prayer list. Please help all of them with their different needs and help anyone out there that's been affected by the virus. In Lord's name I pray. Amen. 
I hope you all enjoyed this early morning prayer requests and devotions. If you did, I hope you'll press that like button. Also subscribe if you haven't already and hit that so you get all my videos as soon as they come out. All right, everybody. I hope you have a great morning and I'll be seeing you later on on morning coffee break. Bye, everyone, and God bless.